Cosmic rays are highly energetic particles that move through space at relativistic speeds and arrive in the Earth's atmosphere from outer space. They're one of our few direct samples of matter that come from outside our solar system. Cosmic rays are composed of 89% hydrogen nuclei, these are protons, 9% helium nuclei, these are alpha particles, 1% heavier nuclei, 1% electrons and gamma rays. It can be said from this that cosmic rays are charged particles. Some of our cosmic rays come from the sun. These rays have relatively low energy. However, this is only a really small portion of cosmic rays. It's unlikely that a randomly chosen cosmic ray will have come from the sun. Other cosmic rays originate from the Milky Way galaxy beyond our solar system. Cosmic rays are more likely to come from outside our solar system than from our sun. Such rays have medium to high energy. The remaining cosmic rays come from other galaxies outside of our own. These are extragalactic cosmic rays and they have the highest energy, approximately 10 to the 18 electron volts. The highest energy cosmic ray ever recorded, the OMG particle, had an energy of 3 times 10 to the 20 electron volts. And this came from outside of our Milky Way. Cosmic rays can be detected at the ground level by using large tanks of water scattered over a large area. An example of this is the Pierre Auger Observatory. The cosmic ray particles travel faster than light and water. And this results in the surrounding molecules emitting blue light called Cherenkov radiation. This light is detected by photomultipliers in the tank. Atmospheric fluorescence can also be used to detect cosmic rays. Cosmic rays close to atoms in the atmosphere excite the electrons to higher energy levels. When electrons return back to lower energy levels, a photon of light can be detected. Cosmic rays are charged. When they're emitted from their origins, as we discussed earlier, their charge allows them to be deflected across various magnetic fields. On the journey to Earth, the magnetic fields of the galaxy, the solar system, and the Earth scrambles their flight paths so much that we can't directly calculate where it came from. Regular light can be easily traced because it travels in a straight line as shown by the purple line. You can see the effect of the magnetic fields on the cosmic ray however, which causes a scrambled path. Thus, we can only use indirect means to calculate the origin of the cosmic ray. A cosmic air shower is an extensive cascade, often over many kilometers, of elementary particles and atomic nuclei, all stemming from a primary cosmic ray coming into contact with the Earth's atmosphere. Cosmic rays can consist of multiple particles, with the main one being protons, as we discussed earlier. However, they could also consist of electrons, photons, or even a positron. The atomic nuclei found within cosmic rays can range all the way up to uranium and can be as heavy as nickel. However, heavier nuclei are more uncommon. When one of these particles from the primary wave come into contact with the nuclei within air particles, it can produce high energy hadrons, for example, pions, kaons, and baryons. These hadrons created from the first interaction are highly unstable and therefore quickly go on to decay to produce further particles and electromagnetic radiation. For example, a neutral pion decays into photons and two gamma rays. A charged pion also decays, however, they take longer to do so, which can result in the pion coming into further contact with other particles in the air, consequently forming 
muons and neutrinos amongst other things. These particles and this radiation can be classified as the secondary wave and include x-rays, muons, protons, antiprotons, alpha particles, pions, electrons, positrons and neutrons. Although some ultra-high energy particles have the ability to reach the Earth's surface, most particles do not and cascade to form the shower. It is then by studying the shower of cascaded particles that we can determine the origin and the original composition of particles within the cosmic ray which came into contact with the Earth's atmosphere.